Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick Nige. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're gonna do something really fun and something that's new for me. I'm gonna do a movie review, not just any movie review, the I Love Lucy movie review. Now, I've developed a Rick 9G score that I'll explain at the end after I go through the movie and talk to you about what it's about and so forth. And so if you're new to the channel, thank you so much. I'm a big I Love Lucy fan as well as classic shows and TV movies as well as gaming i love it all and so if you browse my channel i have over 700 videos of so much entertainment that'll make your head spin so let's get right into this hopefully you enjoy this and let me of course tell you that again this is my review if you do the same score thing that i'm going to explain to you later you're probably going to come up with different numbers um and that's okay that's 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 life that's what happens and so this is my personalized review of the movie I didn't know what to expect I had heard about it and um, I'm really excited to take a look so here it is it's called the I Love Lucy movie and what's interesting about it is that I thought this was the biography movie or the movie in 2003 but this is not this came out in 1953 so this is around the time of I Love Lucy so of course the original Desi's in here and Lucy and Fred and Ethel. However, they decided to do something different. I Love Lucy was doing so well, they decided to make a movie, and it was the I Love Lucy, the movie. However, um, they decided to do a little twist to it. So they took three episodes that we already know. The first one being The Benefit. Now, if you remember in season one, going back, 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 that was the one where they go on a benefit show for Ethel and Lucy's trying to sing and Ricky decides to get her a big 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 uh, basically a list of lyrics that she would say but it's just off this then and so she just goes off off and, and then and Ricky plays the whole tune so that is the benefit of course we also have breaking the lease and you all know the episode breaking the lease they get in a big fight with the Mertzes and the Ricardos are trying whatever they can do making noise they bring the whole band over to the apartment to decide to break the lease and then finally, the ballet, and we all know that with Madame Lamont, Mary Wicks plays the uh, ballet instructor, and we have that funny scene of Lucy doing uh, the old Martha number at the club, throwing the pie in Ricky's face. So I'm, I'm sure if you're a Lucy fan, you've seen these episodes. Well, that's what's included in here. And you may say, well, what's the difference? Well, what they've done, they've done something pretty clever. They're kind of bookends. So imagine the three episodes in the beginning we have a really cool moment the movie starts out outside the actual Desilu playhouse where people are standing in line and you see people standing in line and there's a little bit of a story I guess you can say of people coming in and walking in being excited to see the Lucy show and you see the whole set you see the background I didn't know this I was kinda of shocked and you get about a 10 minute clip of Ricky coming or Desi sorry Desi coming out to the in front of the audience and saying hey welcome to the show and everything and he introduces the cast and literally the camera pans in almost seamlessly and the episode begins the benefit it's so crazy because it really makes you feel like you're there I've never had that experience of being in something you know when you watch Lucy it's like you're in their apartment but here it's like you're in the audience you see the people shuffling in you see Desi introducing everyone and then he says okay well let's start the episode and you literally see him walk to the dining room table or where they're playing cards and then the camera keeps panning in and the episode starts like it's so crazy and there's it's just like normal so there's nothing new there except for the beginning then after the benefit episode we have a transition between that and breaking the lease and I won't really spoil what the dialogue is or anything you have to watch the movie of course and then we get into breaking the lease same thing the whole episode happens then we have another transitional phase where we get into finally the ballet when the ballet finishes we have them kiss at the end that's how it normally ends and then they look at the audience and they bow and the camera backs up and you see the audience and they clap it's amazing because it's like you're there but it's I don't know how to explain it they've taken those three episodes and have added so much depth to them just by adding those three transitions if that makes sense the beginning i would say the middle actually there's four transitions beginning end and then the two in the middle between the episodes kind of you know 
pairing everything off, which is really cool. Now you may think, well, how long does this last? This lasts an hour and 21 minutes. So I think that was it's pretty logical. However, there are other features. So uh, let me just tell you what those are. If you do get this DVD and decide to get it, you will get other things as well, not just the movie. Okay, so you will get that, but you will also get the uh, Lucy Goes to Scotland episode. It's not my one of my favorite episodes at all. I think it's a bit weak in my opinion, the whole musical aspect. But anyway, it's in color. You get to see it in color the whole episode. It is right here. And so I think it's great because you can see it in color. And so that makes it a little bit more interesting because that episode was full of color, like top to bottom. Also, you have uh, Lucy and Desi's first appearance on TV that is on here. It's a segment when they won uh, their Emmy Awards, uh, the sixth annual Emmy Award, where also uh, Vivian Vance and Lucille Ball win. So you get to see their their speeches and see them at the, um, at the uh, Emmy location, which is great. And then you see an on-set commercial, which is really great. Um, I don't want to spoil it to you and a little bit more. There's a lot more things in there, but I think this is awesome. It's a nice little package. It's very inexpensive. You can get it on Amazon. That's where I got it. If you do want to get it, I have a link in the description. It's a special link where if you click on it and you decide to purchase it or purchase anything else from that link it does support out my channel. So I do appreciate you doing that. But then again, you get something really good. You don't have to you know, you pay for it and, and that's it. And so it's, I'm not sponsored by, by that DVD, but again, it is a way to support me. Now that guys and gals was a quick synopsis of the episode itself. So now let's get into the Rick 9G score. Now the way I've done it, I come up with 10 categories that I think are important for kind of looking at every movie. And again, this is kind of a rough draft type uh, uh, scoring situation and so it might adjust as I do more movies and, and, and more things so just hang on with me but I think this is pretty good a good way to start and then I'll show it up on screen so that you can see the point system and see what we get it's out of a hundred points I know some people don't like the point system but I think it's great to get a visual and at the end I'll tell you is it worth it to get or not and so forth so let's start with the first one the first is actors or casting how great is that? I think, of course, you get all the original actors in this movie. You have Desi, Lucille Ball, you have Bill Frawley, you have Vivian Vance, everything else. So, I mean, actors and casting, perfect 10. I mean, it deserves it easily. The boredom factor. The reason why I put boredom factor in there is because you know those movies that are maybe great movies, but there are like snippets in there that are literally bored. How well can it attract my attention. Now, there are movies that keep my attention throughout the whole thing, even if there's lots of dialogue. There are other movies that are fantastic visually, but the dialogue is really dry. And so boredom factor means how engaged was I in the actual movie? Now, of course, uh, one to 10 is the score. Of course, the highest number means the best thing. It doesn't mean I was most bored. So I would easily give this a nine, which means I was not bored at all. Yes, there were moments where I took my eyes off the screen because I know the episodes so well, but those little transitions, I was like a hawk looking at them. It's so amazing. I think the movie as a whole is fantastic as well. The third category I call the elements, which means everything around uh, the movie itself, everything from scenery to props, maybe locations, anything like that. Now, you have to remember that most of this took place either at the club or at the apartment. Uh, we have a few scenes actually outside the club transitional scene and a scene at the Mertz's in the Mertz's living room. And so you do have that. And so it does get a good score, but again, it's not super powerful because the props are very minimal and the scenes are, are, are not that engaging in terms of what is around. It's all about the actors, of course. And so it definitely gets a strong and solid eight. Then we move to the emotional impact. Now this is an interesting one for this particular movie because it is kind of a rehash of those three episodes. Um, you do have to keep in mind that I was uh, less emotionally involved in the movie because I've seen the episodes, but then those transitions brought it up so much. Like I felt like I was there because of the shots that they used to incorporate you into the actual movie. It's amazing. You literally need to watch this. Um, it is one of the greatest pieces if you're a Lucy fan to watch. So it does gain a nice and solid eight. In terms of music, that is the next category. You know how great the music is on I Love Lucy. It was done live, of course, on one audio track uh, with the dialogue and everything on the side by the Ricky Ricardo Orchestra. 
conducted by Mr. Wilbur Hatch. And so the musical's great, pretty much everything the same. There are a lot more nice little intros during the transitional scenes, which are nice. They're little five to 10 minute transitional scenes. And there's other music and that is great. So that gets a solid eight. Original story. What I mean by original story, of course, is how original is the story? Is it piggybacking on another one or is it very riveting and just full of juicy details and it's just like one of the greatest stories of all time? I wouldn't say it's the whole movie is one of the greatest stories of all time, but I wouldn't say it's horrible either. But I would keep in mind that these this is not really original in the sense that the episodes were already done on I Love Lucy. So I do give this a solid eight as a balance in that aspect. My next category is surprises and gems. What that means, are there any surprises in this movie? Any gems? You know, some movies are just kind of dry all the way through. Does this have anything surprising or any gems in it? Absolutely. This earns a perfect 10. Why? I don't even want to get into all the surprises. I read through some of the extras, but just throughout, there's just those moments that you're like, oh, and you feel so great being an I Love Lucy fan. Value. Are you getting value for the movie? Is it worth an hour and a half to watch? You've seen those movies where you spend three hours watching them and you're like, this was not valuable. I did not spend three hours in a very practical way. I would say absolutely 10. This is absolutely a great way to spend your time. And finally, my last category, and most of these have been alphabetical except for this last category, which is called the rewatchable category. How rewatchable is this? Can you watch this over and over? There are those movies where you just watch once and you're like, I don't want to watch this again. Would you want to watch this again? Absolutely. This gets a nine. It is not a perfect nine because I'm sure you've seen the episodes and you might watch it over and over. Uh, but then again, a strong a nine is a very strong number. I would absolutely watch this movie over and over and over just for that feeling. Even now, I just want to watch it again to get those little scenes out. That brings the grand total to 80 out of 100. That is a fantastic score. Believe me, if you think about school, it's like a B minus. But no, I wouldn't rate it in that sense. 80 is a fantastic score. I'm not going to say I'm strict on these scores, but I'm really trying my best to give you a kind of an unbiased look. I don't want to be swayed one way or another. I want to give you kind of a, the most honest answer or the most honest review that I can give you. If something is in great, I'm going to tell you it's not great. And you, you may disagree, but the whole point is to give you my honest thoughts on this. Would I recommend this movie? Absolutely, I would recommend this movie. Um, if you have the opportunity to rent it, would you rent it? Yes, absolutely. Go ahead and rent it. And I would suggest, like I said, to go down below. If this does pique your interest, uh, go get it on Amazon. The links are all th down there. You can get it quickly. It'll be right at your door. And I think you will absolutely love it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. And if you like my reviews, just let me know down in the comments below. And I'd be happy to make more of different movies and different things that you may like. All right, don't forget guys and gals to stay positive and most importantly, be hopeful.